Welcome to election day, friends. Ashley is going to be my buddy. They're staying inside today because it's rainy and yucky, huh? Yeah. Yeah. They didn't want a garage day, so they're just staying inside. And Ashley, are you going to go out? Chelsea hasn't decided. We're going to make our blue berry muffins. If you didn't watch yesterday's video, we are doing a whole election day spread. We'll kind of go over that as soon as we get more stuff put together. But we're going to make some blueberry muffins. Kay Kaylee is actually making her lunch right now. She's got some meatballs that she's making along with some pasta. And we're going to make the muffins. And then I've got blueberries and strawberries and there's a smoke alarm. Not sure why. Speaking of which, that's how we woke up this morning. Jason was making eggs this morning and it went off. I don't know what's making it. All right, smoke alarms are off and actually he's gonna make some muffins. How do you open, can open it? Here's one. Dump it in. Show them what the cupcake liners look like. Yeah, They're flags, huh? Yeah. Okay, we put the cupcakes in. Oh, you're missing one. And then we threw an extra little blueberry, a fresh one on top, right? Yeah. They're cute. Okay, now Ashley is taking over Abby's little job of strawberry plucking, right? Yeah. Abby was doing it, but she had to run and get back on a call. Ashley has all of lunch time to do this. <laughs> and I'm gonna let you have some for helping out, okay? All right, got our whole spread out. I'm actually gonna put these back in the fridge. <laughs> but I just wanted to get a picture and show what I have for the red, white, and blue. We have some vanilla yogurt to go with the fruit. And then we've got our goodies right here. Abby hand dipped all of our pretzels, both the sticks and the little twisties. And then we've got some red jello and some strawberry red Pop-Tarts and the white <laughs> yogurt. And then we've got plates for everyone to use. Over here we've got some red strawberries and some blue blueberries and some red apples in case they want an apple instead of those guys or all three. And then Ashley made our blueberries in the 4th of July decor right there. So we also have some ginger ale to kind of nibble on if they want to. It's kind of a different day, you know, you get soda on a day where, you know, it's kind of a different day. We also have some sparkling cider in case we win. <laughs> we will celebrate if we win. Um, like I said yesterday, respect everyone's opinions, respect everyone's vote. We will probably capture our reaction. Like I said yesterday, I want to remember this day. Jason wants to remember the day. I want to have the kids feel the day. It's epic for them. I don't remember elections growing up. It's no fault to my parents or my family. It's just we didn't do politics in our family. I don't remember anything. I don't. Di we didn't talk politics. We didn't grow up learning issues. It wasn't until I was an adult that I, you know, started to dive into it myself. So already my kids are talking about it in school. Abby talks about it every single day in her social studies class. Mm -hmm. Ashley, you're talking about it in your class, aren't you? You yeah. learned the role of a governor for your homework assignment today. Yeah, I also did in the library today. Yeah. So I, you know. It's a thing, and I want them to feel and remember this day, even at the age of seven. So, it is what it is. Respect our response to the election, I guess I should say, preface that. And we'll, re, you know, we'll, we will respect yours. I learn from family and friends what they have voted for, and I, I don't agree with it, some of them. And I have to, I've learned my lesson. I haven't responded well in the past. So I've learned my lesson 
And I've also seen, sorry, I'm trying to multitask here. I've also seen um, how people have treated us and other family members because they don't agree with our opinions. And I've seen the hurt and the damage that that has caused to those relationships. I'm not gonna do that. At the end of the day, we still are the United States. We still love each other, we're still friends, we're still family, and that's what matters and not this divisive pull. That's what needs to stop. We need to stop being like, you know, red and blue and yours, my, your opinion and my opinion and just like keep moving forward. So, I'm just gonna, that's all I'm gonna say. Jason's gonna get more heated with this later tonight. I might too, depending on how it goes. So, um, just prefacing that. My little cook over there is making herself a tortilla. Right, Chels? Yeah. And we've got a little red, blue, and undecided <laughs> brown. on my plate. And then I made a Caesar salad. Um, Dad, Jason's gonna be home soon, so I have to add a little, little bit of lettuce. I don't think he's going to do as big a salad as I did. Then we've got leftover fruit here. And then, like I said, Chelsea's got her tortilla that she's going to make. And I have little fingerling potatoes. Um, you never said I couldn't have breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't say we couldn't. But you didn't ask permission either. A little That's squirt. Good thing I know you're going to eat well. And they open up the Powerade for their blue drink. Jason's on his way home. Should be here within 15 20 minutes and I'm gonna go back and watch the results. It's gonna be a long night. Are you stress eating, Jason? <laughs> You've had cream puffs after dinner. Now what are you eating? Muffin. A muffin? I'm gonna shower. Yeah, it's getting. All right, so we're, we've got the nervous itch now. He's going to work on these, and I'm working on laundry. Clearly, Jason had tissues in his pockets. There's tissue all over the floor. So I'm doing laundry because I just can't sit still any longer. I want to go shake, take a shower, but <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm going to go take a shower sad or happy. <laughs> I'm kind of waiting. It's, we're, we're not going to find out tonight. There's no way, but a nervous twitch regardless. It is late. What, 10.30? What time is it? 10? 11? And the president is about to kind of give a statement, just kind of documenting our reaction. This is just unprecedented and... It's gonna boil like a little bit, which is what he's gonna do. Yeah, this is... He's going to start throwing conspiracies. We might, I know, we might be about to lose our democracy, is what might just about be happening right now. So, stay tuned. Alright, it is the next day. It is 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Election results are still not in. I'm more hopeful. <laughs> say that. I'm a lot more hopeful than I was last night. I have a lot more faith in our democracy than I did last night. That's all I'm going to say. But right now I'm going to take Ashley to Target to spend some money because if I don't have money to spend for retail therapy today, then I'm going to have her do it. <laughs> but I will be back with you as soon as we know more what the results are and more of our reaction because I want to capture our reaction either way. Last night we got a true reaction on how we felt like the night ended. That was not, we did not hide very much with our reaction last night. But I'll be back with you shortly. All right, this is an update for election day result reactions. It is, I don't even know what day it is anymore. It is Thursday. We voted on Tuesday. We still don't know yet. It is Thursday at 3.45 p.m. President Trump is about to make some kind of an announcement. We don't know what he's going to say because he hasn't won yet and neither has Biden. So that's kind of what's coming up next. I'm still watching. It's been on nonstop. Jason just found out he, well, he doesn't find out. I just found out that Jason is sick and, well, he's sick. He's just having some, like an allergy attack or something again. So he's coming home from work about, what, two hours early. So um, hopefully we actually see some results tonight and we can actually get a reaction. Otherwise, 
again, it'll probably be till tomorrow until we find out, but fingers crossed that they actually have results and they can declare it tonight. There's gonna be a lot of process to verify and continue counting and lawsuits and yada, yada, yada. It's gonna take a little while to verify everything, but I'm pretty sure we're gonna be able to call it tonight. That's my thought. Take it for what it is. All right, I'm gonna give my very mild <laughs> reaction to the election, but I'm gonna wait until Jason is home tonight. We are going to dinner with friends tonight. Luckily, we get to maybe celebrate with our friends tonight based on the new election results that came in today. I will say I was kind of disappointed because I have watched the news religiously since Tuesday. And through the night, like I'll wake up at one in the morning and two in the morning and five in the morning and check results and check numbers. And last night I slept through the entire night. <laughs> and I didn't get the alert until my friends started texting me and I had to go and look and then I missed all the live, like in the moment, what the results were. So again, let us have our, our own reaction and our own opinions. Um, I'm not going to hide my excitement for today. I'm not going to hide my enthusiasm. In fact, I have signs put in my car. <laughs> yeah. And I'm excited to go around town. And oh, wow. the I know. <laughs> I'm not going to show you my signs because I'm not going to make this totally political. Um, but we're going to go ahead to go shopping. I just wanted to give you my reaction. We'll chat with Jason later tonight. But that's all I'm going to say for this. All right, I get Jason's final reaction to the election. I think that smiles says well, it all. Like, yeah. We're very happy. We're going out to celebrate with friends, but that's when all we country need to say. can come together, hopefully. Yes, that's what needs to happen now. So there's good people on both sides. There are, and we know that you, as friends here on our channel, are good people. Yeah. So we still like you as friends. And I'm gonna take that out. <laughs> I'm gonna take out what he just said. You guys take I'm care. I'm just quoting the president. Stop. I'm gonna keep him on track. We'll take care, take care of you guys and we'll see you guys next time. Don't unsubscribe just because we voted one way or the other. We still love you as I'm friends. I'm gonna vote a different way next time. I know. So we love you guys the way you are. It's totally fine. So we'll see you guys next time. Good night.